Good morning to you. It's 4 a.m. on this Monday, October the 11th, and here are today's top headlines. A violent, deadly crash leaves two people dead in North Hollywood. We're live with the breaking details. Huntington Beach reopening its beaches today following last weekend's oil spill. What we're learning about the oil leak this morning. And the trouble continues for Southwest Airlines as hundreds more flights are canceled today. Early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News starting right now. Hey, good morning to you and to you. Good morning. Happy Monday. I'm Chris Shaw. And I'm Lynette Romero in today for Megan Henderson. Uh, we're going to talk to Kirk because he's in for Ginger. Yes. But first, we're going to head it over to uh, Henry. Good morning. Good morning, Lynette. Great to see you. Thanks. Happy Monday, Chris. Obviously, great to see you as well as we take a live look out to Huntington Beach. Good morning, everybody. It is 4 o'clock. Thanks for making us part of your day and hope you all had a fantastic weekend. The weather was nice. A little bit of a mixed bag as far as some clouds to roll in on Friday morning. And then after that, it was a beautiful weekend. We continue with another beautiful day. Look at that. San Fernando Valley, 75 degrees. There is a wind advisory, so the wind's picking up a little bit. And we start talking about a chance of some light rain creeping in later tonight through tomorrow, which we'll talk more about coming up in just a few minutes. All right, Kirk Hawkins, as we just heard, in for Ginger. Good morning, buddy. Hey, Henry, good morning to you as well. Talking about that wind advisory, the warning for high-profile vehicles in some of those uh, high desert and inland empire locations for today. But first, before we get to all of that, let's talk about Ontario and construction. We've got Caltrans busy at this hour. The 10 West between the 15 and Haven, the three right lanes are closed until 5 o'clock this morning. Now we want to give you a look. Speaking of the Inland Empire, the Cajon Pass wide. Right now things are looking clear along the along the 15 and the 215. That's the latest on your morning commute at 401. Now back to you. All right, Kirk, thank you. Breaking news this morning. Two people are dead after a crash in the San Fernando Valley. KTLA 5's Aaron Myers live right now from North Hollywood with the latest details. Aaron, good morning. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Lynette. This was a very violent crash and a very active scene still. I'll step out of the way. You can see the car there behind me and LAPD investigators are here trying to figure out exactly what happened. The vehicle is completely destroyed. It looks like it was broken in half. Now, the single vehicle crash happened here on Vineland, just past Burbank Boulevard around 1.30 this morning. It's hard to tell if the driver tried to stop as there aren't visible skid marks. The driver of the vehicle, though, somehow lost control and it appears to have slammed into a palm tree. When firefighters arrived, they found that vehicle severely damaged and on fire. Two people that were inside were pronounced dead here at the scene. The coroner just arrived here uh, a short time ago and is doing their investigation. Now, at this time, investigators have not released the identities of those that were killed, but family members were out here for a bit. Uh, they have now left the scene. Currently, a small part of Vineland is closed until this investigation has concluded. Now back here live, as for cause in situations like this, investigators usually look to see if speed or if alcohol and drugs played a role. That's the very latest here in North Hollywood. I'm Erin Myers. Chris Lynette, I'll send it back to you. Erin, thank you for that. We are following breaking news in Lancaster. L.A. County Sheriff's deputies are investigating an overnight shooting there. Just after midnight, deputies got a call about a person shot at a location off the 42,100 block of Sierra Highway. At least two victims were taken to the hospital in unknown condition. Right now, deputies believe the suspect is inside that location, possibly a restaurant. It's not clear if anyone else is inside with the suspect. No word on what led up to the shooting or if they...